ఇంజనీరింగ్ <laughs> and my plan to is to improve myself and see myself in a better position okay, thank you thank you uh, what is abstraction uh, abstraction is uh, abstraction is meaning for uh, hiding the essential details and uh, represent uh, representing only the user what the user needs hiding the background details okay. it is used mainly for core security purpose what is encapsulation uh, encapsulation is the combination of both uh, combining the both code and code and data into a single unit what is uh, inheritance and polymorphism okay inheritance is a process of acquiring the properties of one class from one class to another class like uh, if there is a uh, like uh, for example if there in a family uh, there is a parent so from pa- parent we get uh, some properties like uh, Uh, if it's the child will get the properties right so same exactly like that in the inheritance co- concept we use uh, we get the properties from parent class mm-hmm. what is identify uh, identify is uh, mm-hmm. the name which is used for classes methods and variables what is variable variable is used to store the data what is a method method is in a set of instructions written inside the class and uh, it is used for to perform some operations in the data what is data types data types are uh, mainly two types they are primitive and non primitive what is primitive data types and non primitive uh, data types primitive data types are uh, predefined that is system defined uh, that is already inbuilt in the when for example if you take uh, for java programming language that is already when we are creating the language when we are developing the language that is predefined uh, there are eight types of primitive data types integer char double short byte long boolean okay uh, what is array array is a collection of data which is used to store the fixed type data and uh, uh, similar kind of data to store the values store storing how do you know the size of an array uh, by using length keyword okay what is mean by abstraction class uh, if a, if the if there is a if in, if in the class if there is any one abstract method then the class will be called as abstract uh, abstract class what is mean by abstract method uh, if the method has only method signature but does not contain any body like uh, system dot out dot print and if it did not print any value or if we don't give any variables names like that so the method will be called as abstract method what is class class is a collection of code and data what is object object is an instant of class is mainly used to call the classes and variables and methods it is an important uh, factor in the job what is call by value uh, if we call any method by passing a value if we call it as a call by value we, in the method we, uh, we in the method of parameters we write some values like data types and when we are creating the object we inche- we mention the values so it will call the values from the method okay uh, what is called by reference uh, if we call a, any in the met, if we, in the method if we call any reference by the method it called by the call call by reference if we call any method by passing a reference uh, what happens in the call by value we call by by value call the method by passing a value in the reference we we call it as by passing a reference okay uh, the main uh, use of the call by reference is uh, it is to it uh, lessens the storage purpose okay difference between call by value and call by reference uh the call by value the object value will not be changed but in the call by reference the object ka value will be changed okay what is advantage of abstraction and encapsulation uh for abstraction purpose it is used mainly for code security 
uh, for encapsulation it is mainly for data security uh, for example if you take a diamond it stores it in a vault so so that is a real time example mm -hmm. what is a method of overriding and overloading okay. method of overloading is actually way when two or more methods have the same method name but the name uh, number of parameters should be different and data type parameters should be different and the return types should be same or maybe different uh, when it comes to method overriding the method name should be same and the number of parameters and data type of parameters and sequence of parameters should be same and the return type also should be same so that uh, uh, there is another definition also for method overriding that is uh, rede redefining the functionality of method of super class in sub subclass Okay. What is constructor? Constructor is uh, mainly used for initializing the object. Constructor is also method, but is a special method. And uh, we use class name for constructor. Mm -hmm. Difference between constructor and method? Okay. Uh, for constructor, the class for constructor the constructor name should be from only class name only. But for when it comes to method, the method name should be given with anything. You can give any anything. And uh, constructor can be called automatically. We no need to call it, call it. But for method, we need to call it the object. And uh, constructor in the constructor, we, 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 we will give some parameters. In the method also, we give some parameters. But we, we need to call it. What is constructor overriding? Constructor overriding, okay. Uh, two or more uh, constructor having the same name. But the number of parameters and the data types of parameters should be different. What is interface? Uh, interface? Interface is similar to the end of class, but it contains all the abstraction methods uh, with the node method body. And uh, we use implements implements keyword for, uh, uh, for inheritance purpose in the interface. What is uses of interface? Uh, interface is mainly used for achieving the 100% uh, in, in multiple inheritance. Okay. What is the uses of wrapper classes? Uh, wrappers classes are used for converting the primitive data types into objects. That is called as auto boxing. And converting the objects into primitive data types, primitive data types is called unboxing. So it is mainly used for converting the primitive data types like integer, char, boolean, that into objects. And again, we can convert them back into primitive data types. That is the use of wrapper classes. What is users of super keyword? Super keyword. Uh, super keyword is mainly used to refer the immediate parent class object, immediate parent class variable, immediate parent class method, immediate parent class a cl a class. With uh, super keyword, we in the by using the inheritance concept, we in the child class we use super keyword. Uh, by by using the super keyword, uh, whatever the variables, methods, and uh, data available in the parent class, we can access the data uh, easily. With super keyword. Mm -hmm. What is exception handling? Uh, exception handling is used for uh, handling the runtime errors and is, is very, very useful for uh, showing the information to the user. Uh, like for example, if you take ATM card, ATM machine, uh, if there is a, um, uh, I mean the cash is not available and uh, when we when we try to and withdraw the cash, it shows an error. So for, for programmers, we develop and we know uh, what the error should be, may be and what the error should be. Like it, it shows like Java that line, it shows that like that. But for exception purpose, it shows like that. But we need to mention them what kind of error it is, so why it is coming. So if we use exception handling, we can say that the, there is no cache. So please try and later we can say that. The, that is the purpose to provide information to the user. Mm -hmm. And to handle the code without even we are compiling the code, if we the, 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 the exception scheme, the program stops uh, 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 suddenly and the, for example, if you are, if you are using a browser and we are uh, browsing a website, so the, there are exceptions there in the, in the website, the website will be stopped uh, unexpectedly and close the web page. So that is the reason to stop the uh, stopping of web page and uh, continuity of the web page. So that is the purpose of the exception. Mm -hmm. What is multi-threading? Uh, multi-threading is a concept of executioning of uh, multiple thread threads at the simultaneously at the same time. 
so the multiple the for example if you take uh, anything like for example uh, in bdm we book hyderabad uh, metro tickets right so sir there are so many number of people book at the same time uh, from all over hyderabad mm -hmm. at, a, at the same time but all the ticket i mean booking will be done simultaneously uh, there will be not like uh, uh, one candidate after only one candidate booking only done not like that all the uh, all the requirements of the if you are booking it will done simultaneously there is no need to wait for other candidates to complete the ticket booking right so all the threats will be executed simultaneously that is the use of multiple threading mm -hmm. what is local variable uh, local variable is, is a variable which is in the method inside the method and outside of the class what is global variable uh, global variable is a variable which is inside the inside of the class and outside of the method mm -hmm. if you don't mention any uh, variables in the cla global variable uh, it, it should take as a default but in the method it should not be taken as a default okay i will give one code okay. please write it down okay ma'am sure first i am writing the class name i am taking the class name as and I am writing main method public static void main this should be capital in now for this uh, Python program I am using for loop. I am taking the I and J. I for six rows we need the output so so I am taking up to six. I plus plus it will increment the value. So the output will be executed like this. Okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you.